Bro, stay fan. We all know who Lil Uzi Bird is. Or do we? Stick around to see who the real Uzi is, no pun intended, and why he's so iconic in today's rap game. He grew up in North Philly, but has since moved to Atlanta. He was always different from the other kids growing up. He loved anime and rock stars like Marilyn Manson and Gigi Allen. He worked at a dollar store in Philly called Bottom Dollar before quitting three days later to take his dream seriously. Imagine if he didn't quit, the rap game would be drastically different. He began rapping back in high school when his friend Will inspired Uzi with his freestyles. He wanted all the attention his friends were getting for their raps. He started going to the studio, eventually recording a song that got the attention of Philly's DJ Diamond Cuts. He quickly realized this was his destiny. She managed him shortly and gave him radio play, which ended up getting the attention of DJ Drama and Don Cannon. Sadly, he betrayed Diamond Cuts and all her assistance she gave him in order to be under Drama and Cannon's label generation now. Uzi was always into hip hop growing up. He's influenced by rappers like ASAP Rocky, Young Thug, Wiz Khalifa, Pharrell Williams, Lil Wayne, and Kanye West. Uzi's biggest influence by far is Marilyn Manson because of his unique style and personality, not to mention Paramore's Haley Williams. He actually considers himself to be a rock star, not a rapper. Uzi started dyeing his hair in high school and no one really did that at the time. Uzi has dreads but wears them in many styles. My favorite style he's done was all red hair with one dread hanging in the front. That was dope. Lil Uzi got his iconic name because of his ability to rap fast. One day someone told him he rapped fast like an Uzi and he's gone by Uzi ever since. Vert means vertical because he knew his career would end up going nowhere but up. Before smash singles like 7AM, Money Longer, and EXO Tour Life, Uzi dropped his first song, Stake Town Anthem, on July 22, 2012, almost 8 years ago. Lil Uzi loves birthday cake Lil Bites. Get this, this man eats 2 boxes, not in a week, but in one day. His favorite food is watermelon sour patch kids, what a nutritious meal, am I right? His favorite directors are Rob Zombie and Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino's Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill are his top rated movies. Uzi also loves Elf. Will Ferrell is hilarious in that movie for sure. His least favorite movie is Scream because it's overrated. I couldn't agree more. Uzi said that he plans on leaving this earth at the age of 27 in a Nardwar interview. Considering everything he's accomplished in the matter of his short career, I hope this isn't true. I believe Uzi has much more to accomplish and many more stories and memories to create. We hope as his fans this was sarcastic or a joke. But he says he plans on joining the 27 Club like Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, Amy Winehouse, and Jim Morrison. We've already lost so many legendary artists in the past decade. It would be a shame to see Uzi join the likes of fellow SoundCloud phenomenons Lil Peep, XXXTentacion, and Juice World, to name a few. If you like this video, make sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like below. What do you guys think about this painting? Who do you want me to paint next? Be sure to tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. I will be dropping a video every single Friday. Make sure you like this video if you'd like to see a part 2 on Lil Uzi Vert. That's all for now.